Welcome to week two uh, at the University of Illinois at Chicago's Great Cities Institute Certificate of Nonprofit Management Program, class on nonprofit management and civic engagement. I'm Tom Tresser, here our instructor. So um, we want to uh, pay attention in these readings and going forward to the distinctions between uh, social service and social change. Moving from uh, delivering service to organizing for change, sustainable, lasting change. And the process guide offers a very useful grid uh, here, uh, as you see, with four dimensions. Uh, and I want to add a few dimensions to, to what they're dis dis disting, um, have called out for you. Uh, so let's th th think of these um, uh, and uh, keep them in mind as you're uh, discussing and going through your materials. Uh, so they have uh, the distinction of individual transformation. To what degree uh, are the individuals involved transformed through their participation in your organization or your efforts? And at one end of the spectrum, you would have a social uh, service organization, uh, say providing a meal, in which there's really no transformation, so that the individual receives the meal, uh, basically needs another meal the next day, absent any other uh, intervention. Uh, so uh, a, hung or a homeless person re receives a shelter, but then the next night needs another shelter. So a service has been provided, but there's, you can't say that there's any lasting transformation for the individual. At the other end of the spectrum, there's the kind of work where uh, the individual uh, works uh, uh, to become a leader or is involved in some of the effort and um, you observe great transformation in that individual. Um, the other dimension that they offer uh, here is uh, the degree of collective effort. So are you working alone or with a few people or is your uh, organization or, or initiative involving very, very uh, large numbers of people, say from a specific neighborhood or even from a, a region or a city? I would add to those the dimensions of uh, place, so uh, it's a, sort of another side of the, of the uh, collective uh, dimension. Where is this action taking place? So where is your effort uh, located? Is it a specific block? Uh, is, it, is it a specific home? Um, et cetera. And you know, again, it, in, in the case of social services, the location of the service is actually the body of the individual. So you receive the service. Uh, and, and you consume that service, and then you move on. Um, in the larger collective actions, the location of the change might be, um, you know, your neighborhood or, or your whole city, etc. And the time factor is closely re related. There uh, is the action or program taking place very quickly, um, or is it going to take a lot of time? It's a lengthy process. And finally. Uh, an a, and a dimension that I add to all my work is, uh, a th is a consideration of power. It's implied, I think, in um, a lot of what is said here, and, and it, the guide later does talk about power, but I think we need to surface that issue uh, right away. Um, so the way I would ask you to think about it is, does your effort or the organization be considered uh, accommodate power? That is to say, um, does not um, make any waves, or does the organization and the effort uh, challenge power, and in which case there's conflict. Um, and uh, further, does the organization and effort seek to redistribute power? And the flip side of that same uh, dimension is the amount of conflict. So. Uh, on the one side of the scale, there's modest or little conflict. So I receive my social service, I get a meal, I get a shelter, I get some counseling, what other other kinds of services that you might offer. And there's really no conflict involved there. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, um, you might be challenging authority, you might be uh, disrupting authority and causing friction or conflict. So those are some of the, the dimensions that we'd like you to keep in mind as we're going forward. We'll see you online. Uh, this is Tom Tressel.